This is a GXE CS2 uh, high power air pump and a compressor actually and we use this to fill air guns and paintball guns and stuff like that. Just for reference, here's my iPhone. That's how big this thing is. Uh, the manual says you can fill it to 4,500 PSI. Kind of cute, isn't it? I actually went to the uh, Gateway to Air Guns forum, and they have a sub-forum called the Bargain Gate. And it's a dangerous place because there's always something on sale that, um, that I want to buy. In this particular case, that sent me to the uh, GX Pump uh, website and this was on sale for 35% off. Uh, so I went ahead and got it. It was 300 bucks uh, with free shipping. The, you know, I really didn't need a new pump because I've got a Comtech compressor that'll go up to 4,500 PSI. I got some tanks, 4,500 PSI tanks. But I went out and got one of these Air Venturi Avengers. And uh, this fills to 4,300 PSI. So if I were to use my tank, I could fill that up once, uh, which would drop the pressure in the tank, then fill it again, and we're not getting back up to the 4,300. It keeps, the tank pressure keeps dropping. So we're unable to fill it uh, from the tank, you know, after the first or maybe the second time. So I wanted to get a compressor. I had a Benjamin Traveler, Traveler that I liked, but I traded it to a guy uh, for his collection of old air guns. So, so that's gone. But this is kind of nice, and I like the fact that you can run it off your car battery uh, or your ATV or whatever you've got. Um, and it also comes with the converter so that you can plug it into the wall socket, hook up these connectors, and run it in your in your house, I guess, or your garage or wherever. It comes with a couple of tools for when, after 50 hours, I guess you're supposed to do some maintenance on this thing. It comes with a air and water filter attachment that's going to go uh, here, uh, you know, so the air flows through it to the, uh, to the gun. It's intended to fill guns, not tanks, so uh, don't think of this as something you can fill a tank with and then take the, take the tank out into the field with you. Uh, let's see, it comes with some filters. Some of these are for the end of the line filter, and some of these are for the intake filter. The air actually comes in the handle from the back here, flows through, gets compressed, and then out the hose. Uh, some ball bearings, I'm not sure yet what those are for, but we'll figure it out. And some burst discs. And uh, burst discs are nice because if something goes haywire here, um, I think this is the burst disc here, it'll blow out. And instead of uh, blowing the whole unit up or causing something really crazy, it gives it a weak point in the system. Uh, where if this blows out, it doesn't hurt much. One complaint I do have about this without even running it yet, and that is, oops, upside down. That is this um, gauge. This is the pressure gauge. Well, the gauge here is in MPA or one megapascal, something or other, and I've, I don't have any guns that are um, rated in MPA. They're either VAR or PSI. And in fact, GX markets this. You can see it here as a 4,500 PSI compressor. They don't market it as a 40 MPA compressor. So it just annoys me when they... Uh, set it up for one unit of measurement and then put a totally different that nobody's ever heard of uh, outside the scientific world. Um, you know, that, that come, but you can switch that, I guess, the, uh, the uh, gauge. And what I did 
So I went ahead and and made a little chart here. Let's see that. Um, PSI bar and MPA and 1000 PSI 69 bar 6.9 MPA and there's a relationship here. If you look at bar and MPA where uh, you put a decimal in front of the last number and basically there you go from bar to PA, MPA. It's a simple conversion. And so I got to keep this handy uh, whenever I'm filling um, a gun off of this compressor. Okay, one other thing that kind of irked me is that it, it comes with a parts diagram and everything. And the instructions are pretty minimal. You can see there's, there's not a lot to it. But it comes with this um, first piston ring. And yet there's no first piston ring in the packaging. So I emailed them there at GX, and they said, no, you got to buy that separate. Well, if you got to buy that separate, why put it in your, uh, why put it in your uh, owner's manual that it comes with? That, that just annoyed me. All right, as I understand the order of operations here, we first plug in the c converter, and it'll start working. It has a little fan in here, cooling fan, and that'll kick in. Then we can connect the uh, these connections here and that will start the two fans here and here on the compressor going and they recommend you test the unit with a dummy plug here so there's the dummy plug the on off switch is here in the back and they say leave the bleed valve open get everything hooked up, turn the unit on, let it run for a couple of seconds, and then close this, and then it'll start building pressure, right? So that's the idea, and we know 4,500 PSI is uh, 31 MPA. We're also going to see how loud this thing is. And I have a little sound meter here on my phone. And I'm going to set it right there. And when we get it fired up, we'll take a reading on it. Well, let's go ahead and hook this up. You know, red is the positive, And so there's a red mark here. Black, they put a white mark here for some reason. I, know, I guess because everything else is black, you, you wouldn't be able to see it. So that's connected and plug it in all right that's the converter unit itself so this is open we're going to go ahead and fire up the unit by the way when you connect this to the terminals here, the fans kick on. So these two fans are running right now, even though the pump isn't operating. All right, here we go. Close the And we're building pressure. Yeah, I've got a leak here coming out of coming out of here. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Okay, let's try this again. Um, I had to tighten this nut here just a little bit. There's a seal here underneath it that apparently was a little bit loose. Tighten that up and now it seems to work okay. So we've got our dummy uh, plug here. We're all set to go. This is loose. You can hear the compressor, or I mean the uh, uh, converter here. And I think you can see that it's coming in around 80 we'll call it. 
about 80 decibels we'll call it <clears throat> all right now when I put this on the uh, fans for the unit itself will come on It really didn't change much. It's a couple decibels higher than just the converter alone. All right, now we're going to fire this up. We're at zero. Turn it on here. Again, it doesn't change the decibel very much. It's a little bit higher, but not much. All right, we close up, shut off valve, and we're pumping. All right, we hit 30 MPA, which is um, about 4,400, 4,300 PSI. Um, so it works, and that's what we were testing for to see. Uh, and you notice it didn't take hardly any time at all, but we're just filling really the volume of this short hose here. Okay, so the pump's off. We can release the air. And we'll let these run for a minute to cool off before we do anything else. Just for purposes of comparison, we figured the uh, GX pump was around 80, that and the electric converter. So here's a drill. We all have one of these somewhere in our shop. This is a Milwaukee Fuel, which is the uh, kind of the heavy duty, it's a hammer drill driver. But you can see it's actually about the same volume. Maybe a couple decibels more even than the uh, compressor and the converter. So noise uh, shouldn't be an issue with these things. So we're going to go ahead, I, I filled my Avenger up here to about 2900 PSI off of the tank and that's because it has a regulator and this is in 25 calibers so the regulator is set to 2900 so right about here is where it would fall off the reg and we're going to go ahead and connect this Okay, now we're set. Here we go. I'm going to go off of the gauge on the gun, not this gauge here. Get this set up where it's getting any better. Okay. We're ready to roll. Here we go. Well, and we are there. So I'm going to let these cool off again. You can feel they've got a little bit warm here. And uh, let's go wrap this up. So to fill that Avenger from 2900 PSI, where it comes off the reg, you can see that kind of glare. But to go from 2900 PSI back up to 4350 it took us about a little over two and a half minutes which is pretty quick if you're especially if you're out in the field filling it off a battery or something but I thought well what the heck as long as we're filling stuff I've got a Marauder pistol here 
uh, that we fill to 2,900 PSI, and it's totally empty. So let's see if we can fill that up and uh, how long that takes. So let me get going here. We'll plug it in. And the fan starts. Negative. Positive. That starts the fan here. The valve is open. Pull our plug. Yeah. And it does fit. Okay, I was kind of worried about this with the block on it, but it seems to be all right. All right, let's fire it up. Okay, and here we go. We're at uh, 2,900. And that took, from beginning to end, 1 minute and 40 seconds, roughly. Well, so there you have it. Uh, of course, we filled two guns, and that's the extent of my experience with this little compressor. But it uh, seems to work good. It does uh, everything it's supposed to do. And uh, I'm impressed that they can do this for 300 bucks. A couple of things to note. i give you these uh, filters. And the big ones, I presume, go in here to replace this. But you notice that these are a different size. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to compress this in there. I guess you are. Um, but that kind of surprised me that they, they were that much bigger. And the little ones, I'm assuming, go into the uh, air intake here. Or maybe the big ones go in there. I don't know. I don't, in which case, I don't know where the little ones go. But I didn't pull this off. Uh, I was thinking about it, and they actually provide a wrench here. And I thought, well, it looks a lot like a wrench that would fit there. But no, this goes to something else. You're going to have to get a different wrench to pull this off to replace the uh, air and moisture filter there. And I'm not going to do that. At least not right now. So there's that. And then, what else? Uh, oh yeah, the toolkit I didn't mention. They do give you this tool, a wrench, and also a couple of, a couple of Allen wrenches that, you know, this fits here. This one goes somewhere. I'm not sure where, but um, these are what you need to do maintenance, apparently, on the uh, compressor. Oop, get back over there. Now, storing it, you want to store it with the dummy so that dust and stuff doesn't get in there and you don't want to pump anything into your gun that might have gotten into there. So, so block it off like that. I may, I'm not sure, I may change the... Uh, gauge here, but every gun I've got that I'm going to be filling with has a, a gauge of its own, and I go by the gauge on the gun, not by this. I'm not going to be filling any bottles or uh, air tanks with this, so yeah, it's not a big deal, um, but it just bugs me that, you know, this is an MPA and everything else that you're using it for is in bar or PSI, and in fact, they advertise it as a PSI. Okay, that's just pet peeve for me. Well, one of the issues that we talk about with these foreign um, pumps and, and equipment in general is availability of parts. Once you get it and you use it for a while, and let's say you do need to rebuild it, you know, where do you get, um, you know, is it specialty grease or is it... Uh, uh, O-rings or whatever for this particular unit. Um, maybe you need to new one of these um, or the consumables like these filters or the burst discs. 
and God forbid I need more burst disc, but I mean, I got five of them in here. What if I go through all of those? But there is a company up here in the hills uh, in California, Target Forge, and I'll put a link to their website. They also have a YouTube channel where they go through how to perform a lot of the maintenance on the. But to check out their website and their YouTube channel, and there's a lot more information on these things out there. All right, now it's a wrap. Thanks for watching.